Good morning, y'all. It's about six, I'm gonna say 6.20. Let's see if I'm right on the screen. It's bright outside. I'm surprised, I thought it would still be a little bit dark based on the last time we did this. And it was dark outside. Why am I so bright right there? Let's go under here and see if that makes a difference. Uh, okay, so I just got out of the shower. I'm wearing a big fluffy robe. I'm about to get ready and drive to Auburn for Chic Soul again. I'm going Thursday and Friday of this week. We're doing more TikToks. I'm excited. They always send me a call sheet or a list of things that we're doing. And I'm excited because I get to watch all of the ones that they want me to recreate. So we're going to do that. Um, I will chat with you once I get in the car because I'm still a little bit asleep. I bought Brian these cupcakes. I'm trying to be quiet because he's sleeping. <laughs> at Rouse's yesterday. Delicious. It was Veterans Day yesterday and he's a veteran. I wanted to say thank you. So I got him food <laughs> and these were delicious. They're those, it's like Chantilly cake. Delicious. I'm trying to properly show you my outfit. So I'm wearing these crackle leggings, this leopard blondie tee, and this adorable rose gal jean jacket. And then I just have on white sneakers. <laughs> I took the jacket off just because I'm about to drive for a long time. I'm gonna take these shoes off as well. The drive is usually about three hours. So my mom gave me, she had these already and asked me if I wanted them. These books on tape. So I'm going to listen to one. This one, this is a three part. There's a sticky note to tell you first, second, third. So I think I'm gonna do this one first. It's called Wired by Julie Garwood, audiobook. I don't know what it's about at all. I don't even know how long it is. I'm sure it's long enough to last. Yeah, for my drive, right? Oh, one to 10 hours, one disc slash 10 hours, five minutes of listening. What does that mean? Surely that's not a five minute book. It's probably more like a 10 hour book. All right, so I'm gonna listen to this. I'm not gonna quite do it yet because Brian's gonna call me when he goes to work. So we're gonna chat so I can kill a little bit of time. So I guess, oh, here's what I'll do. So the other night I tried the Saint Tropez Dark and I filmed it. So here's what we'll do. We'll throw in the footage of me trying it, using it. I will get to Auburn, do my modeling for the day, and then I will see you tonight when I'm done. But at least you have something to watch in the meantime. All right, let's do a little bit of fake tan. So I bought the St. Moritz, you saw it in the last vlog. It wasn't very dark. So I mentioned that Neely at Bella Rose, the other model there, one of the other models, looked really great last Friday, was it? That I went, for you it was a while ago, for me it was just last Friday. She said she used the Saint Tropez in dark. We have purchased it, I have a mitt. Let's test it out. So here's a look at what I look like before. Let me adjust you a little bit because I gotta take my shirt off. Okay, so I, I just put my shirt right there. So we're gonna start and do my left arm since I just put the mitt on this hand. I'm gonna shake very well. Oh, did, let me show you again. My arm. There you go. Let's do two and a half. Okay, here we go. This mitt is really nice. But I wonder if it's the mitt that is causing, I feel like when I use the St. Moritz with this same mitt, like it dried really fast. Like I almost didn't have a chance to rub, to rub it in. <laughs> Okay, Brian called. So I went ahead and put two coats on. I rubbed a little bit on my hands. I also did two coats on my legs. I don't usually put it on my face. So 
so we won't do that. Um, okay, first impressions, let's do that. It's not really that dark. It's definitely a green base, um, but it's not really that dark yet. My legs look, oh gosh, I see on my stomach where I must have bent over. <laughs> um, okay, so I will check in in the morning once I shower. Try not to walk back too far and like rinse everything off. It's very green. Good morning, happy Wednesday. So I just got out of the shower, rub lotion everywhere. <laughs> um, so here's what the tan looks like. You can tell, how, I can't not wash my hands. So that's what that looks like. It's a really pretty color. I just, this, I mean, I feel like you can always tell when someone's wearing a fake tan because of their hands and their feet. But overall, I think that the color is really pretty. My chest, for some reason, is hard to tan. I've heard that from other people as well. I did notice this as well on my elbow. All right, my legs. I did take a video this morning. I will throw it in right now. Legs look great. I did two coats as you saw last night. The only thing with the legs are really is the feet. I don't have fake tan on my toes and it just looks a little bit funny. But for the most part, this is really pretty. I honestly thought it would be a little bit darker for it being dark but I'm not mad at it. Like I'll keep it and I'll keep using it because I think it's a really pretty color. I've just got to work on my tan or fake tan skills and really just work on hands and feet. Like tonight I might go through with the mitt and put a little bit on there and just swipe it on my hands before I go to bed. That way I'm sleeping. So there we go, there's your review. I like it, it was kind of expensive in my opinion, but it did a good job. So let's get back to Auburn. Welcome back to Auburn. So I am actually in, you might be able to tell behind me, the Waffle House parking lot, but next door is Starbucks. I went and got a Starbucks. It's only 4.40. Um, I'm not hungry, like ready for dinner yet, but I do have some work that I need to do and I didn't want to be crammed up in a hotel room yet. So I have my little iced, Caramel macchiato with extra pumps of vanilla and a grande. I need to mix it up. And I've already got my computer going. The line at Starbucks was super long. So while I waited, I just popped this open. I hope I don't get kicked off the Wi-Fi just being next door. So I'm letting a video upload to YouTube. Okay, let's talk about the tan. So what I ended up doing last night was I took just a little bit of tan on the mitt and did my hands, which I guess in the camera you can't really tell. They were super white, so next time I need to tan right before I go to bed and do my hands. I also rubbed some tan on my feet. I like it. It smelled like fake tan. It was kind of sticky, but I feel like the color is really good from here down. Not there. Sorry y'all, Brian called and got me distracted. It is now dark outside, so I just finished doing what I needed to do on the computer, so I guess I'm going to go check into the hotel and then we'll figure out dinner. room 316. Remember last time we stayed on the bottom floor? Let's go up. We got cold outside. Not cold. Okay, cool. Oh, I hate riding elevators by myself. They all look exactly the same. <laughs> Let's see what the view looks like. There we go. We always check in the closets and then behind the door in the shower just to make sure we're actually alone. And we are. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and just relax right there do some work on the computer. And then um, there was a Chipotle around the corner. So I may see ugh, <laughs> if they do delivery. They have really good chicken tacos. I look rough. Anyway, that's the plan for tonight. I'll let you know though for sure what I order. It's about, si yeah, 6.06. There we go. I just ordered some Chipotle. 
says it will be here at 621 to the hotel. So I'm excited for that. I have showered, I have all matching pajamas. So I'm gonna do some work on the computer, eat my dinner, watch some TV, go to bed early, and I will do it all over again tomorrow, but I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, y'all. It is 5.30. I've been up since four o'clock. Just wide awake, just hanging out. So I figured I would be productive, and instead of waiting in the Starbucks line, maybe I would just order me a little something to be delivered. I've never done Starbucks delivery before. I like this sandwich. I'm so hungry, probably because I've been up forever. Let's add that bad boy to the order. So I change my password, update my account, and then it says it's not available. So guess I'll just take myself up there later. Whew, I don't have any lipstick on yet, but it is cold. It's 55 degrees. So let me clear my windshield my windows so it's did i already say it's only seven o'clock i've got heated seats on the defrost going so i'm gonna go ahead and go to starbucks we saw i couldn't do the delivery for some reason i think it's because uber eats isn't here in this town yet which is fine so i'll just go to starbucks but because i'm early and i'm still hungry i have enough time to get me a breakfast sandwich and then i'll go ahead and drive to where i need to be eat my sandwich, drink my coffee, relax in my car, and then I guess I'll see y'all this afternoon when I get home. I forgot to vlog when I came home. Well, it's only four o'clock. Let's go outside. <sighs> so nice and warm. Brian gets off early tonight. I just like threw my hair up really quick, quick when I left this morning or this afternoon. Okay, so I'm home. I'm going to take a shower take off all my makeup, wash my hair. Uh, tomorrow, Brian's off, as I mentioned, how many times so far. So we're gonna do something fun tomorrow, um, but I'll probably see y'all on Sunday. Good morning, y'all. It's 54 degrees. It's cold to me, anyways. Whoo, happy Monday. Yes, it is Monday. Brian ran to work real quick to do a couple things. I'm cold. I'm into like matching pajamas. I mean, I have several pairs of them, but for some reason I've been wearing them a lot more recently. So I'm excited today because that big project I've been working on for, oh my gosh, almost a month goes live. It's the Rose Gal and Taryn collab where they let me hand pick a bunch of things. I will link the video down below, there's also a whole web page that they've created and all of these pictures that I've taken and stuff. So I will link all of that down below, but I actually need to go in there, sit in front of my computer and make it go live. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning. Oh, I bought um, a bunch of stuff. Well, not a bunch. I bought a tree and some decorations and a cute picture from at home on Saturday. So we're gonna decorate my filming room today and that'll be fun. That, that one piece of straight hair. <laughs> Change of plans. So I am dressed and waiting on Brian. He needs to go and run some errands across the bay. And there's a delicious restaurant. Well, California Dreamin'. I'm pretty sure it's a franchise. I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm gonna go with him so I can eat their salad. It's delicious. So we're gonna do that. I'll vlog a little bit while we're there. And then later tonight, there I am back there. <laughs> I'll come back and put the tree up. I just realized it's only nine o'clock in the morning, which means we have to spend two hours at Bass Pro Shops before I can eat my salad. There he is, he just pulled up. We made it. They can hear you singing. We made it. Can I show them your mask? <laughs> Where is he? You can't see him anywhere. Are you happy about that mask? Well, you know. I really can't. If you got to wear a mask, <laughs> might, might as well, be well this one. Might as well match. Oh, it opened the inside one, but not this. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, how pretty. Got the fire going. Cash has this pink one right here. $9.97. But do we need it? Not really. Okay, so you, you're going to bring the plaid one to the camp? Well, if you want me to, yeah. Well, I mean, that's up to you. It's yours. I want the big one. Is this one big? This is the size right there. 60 by 70. Okay, so it's 5 feet by 60 
Okay, let's think about it. Well, let's think about it. These are the flannels, y'all. Where's the one that I have? This one right here that I've shown several times in a video. Maybe I should get another color. Hey, you think I should get another one of these? I like that green color. I have that one at the end. Yep. I do like the green. Green's pretty. Let's do green. Okay. green. They have some cute sweaters and stuff, but nothing that I really need. That's pretty. These are super soft, but again, I don't need it. Look at that though. That's pretty. I do really like this. Just the look of it with jeans and sneakers is really pretty. Let's see if they have plus size. I see, oh, I see a 2X. I do really like this. I like this color. I didn't even notice this up top. Oh, it's on sale for $14.97. Oh, 16. How they do plus size, y'all. I think I like the green over these. Yeah, we're gonna do green. We're trying to pull this one out. green yeah I like the green one for sure all right we're gonna do this one as well I must be in a on a green kick today because of that flannel it's also green they have these two that are more like what material is that it's like a waffle knit but thicker not super soft but this blue is pretty let's see what it looks like Okay, so it's just like a regular top. All right, I think I like the one that I have. Pull on jeggings. Do we need some of these? This color is pretty. I have these in um in leggings, but that color is really pretty. They have black, dark wash, medium wash. That's different for sure. I like these. Let's see what size they have. It looks like they only go up to an extra large. Now to the clearance. This is very cute. I'm into this style right now for some reason. It's on sale for 20 bucks. What's regular price? $27.99. I do like it though. These are really pretty too. With the striped sleeves. Oh, they're long. We're going to pass on this. Thanksgiving. I'm just going to follow you. Okay, I'm going to go look at shoes because I don't want to just follow him around. Look how cute those are. Huh. All right, I spotted these from far away. I need these. I did put slippers on my Christmas list for Brian. $34.99, but they're hard on the bottom. These are very cute as well very cute. I have some similar to this. These are, I mean, animal print, always cute. These are more like sneaker. Oh my gosh, they're wedges. We do have some tall boots. I did, by the way, order a bunch of wide calf boots for a video. So we'll see how that works out. Like these have stretchy in them, but they don't specifically say wide calf. If you need to soothe your mind, play this for 10 seconds. It's only 10.30. So I'm gonna take a seat in these chairs and we'll wait them out. This is what I came for, <laughs> the salad. Thank you. Yep. This is it, the California Dreamin' Salad. So good. Here's what it looks like, y'all. So good. Brian got flounder po' boy. Yep. Do you like it? Huh? So we're home now. This is the tree I ended up getting from 
at home, yes. It does plug in, it lights up. And then I also got this really cute Christmas tree picture. And then in here we have, I think it's just bulbs and then a bow, yes, for the tree. So I wanna put this here, obviously. So I need to put that somewhere else. I need to stick that in the closet, I guess. Yeah, so let's just decorate. I will show you the bulbs that I ended up getting because I liked them so much. Here we go, I didn't buy the hooks. Hmm, I need to find some hooks somewhere in the house. So I have three packs of these. I wanted it pretty, but sort of subtle because it's gonna be behind me in videos. So I didn't want people to just stare at that the whole time. And then I got this pretty bow to go on the top. So now I need to find um, some hooks for the bulbs and then we'll decorate. So bare in the corner, doesn't it? Because that's so much skinnier. because I kind of like it like this with no bulbs plus I don't have any of the hooks right now I can't decide what I like so Brian suggested that there with this in the corner Leave the picture there, that won't be there, and I could wrap some fake presents or something. We have really pretty paper that matches, or it's the same color as this, so that could kind of go in that empty space. And maybe he said put um, like a plaid chunky scarf or something on this. So it's very simple, but I think this is what I've settled on. So I just moved the tree back to this corner, but not all the way to the wall, so a little out, this is hanging here. It's not a big space in here. So in actuality, I'll be sitting or standing right here in video. So you'll get a tree there, a tree there. I might, might wrap a couple presents and put them there. But really because this is, I'm already at the wall. Because I don't have a lot of filming space. Hi, excuse me. <laughs> um, the boxes really take up room where I need to be standing and videos. So I don't know, I may put the bulbs on it. I may not. Ooh, it's cold. Such a nice day, y'all. I think it's about eight o'clock in the morning. Look at that glow. I just did my skincare. Um, I need to call uh, Kaylee that does my hair. I made an appointment on Friday to do the smoothing treatment again today, but she wasn't in office because she got married. So I called and it was a little bit hectic up there. And so I need to double check with her this morning to just make sure that I am in fact on the schedule before I get all the way up there. And then I'm going to get ready. I'm going to film my trunk club video like we talked about. And then I'm going to show you what's in my stitch fix. And then my mom is gonna meet me and help me take some pictures. I have some really cute, um, cute may not be the word, really nice holiday looks from Kato Fashions that I'm gonna do a fun Instagram post on. So she's gonna help me take those pictures. Um, but my appointment wasn't initially supposed to be until 10. So I'm gonna wait a little while. I don't wanna wake her up. Wait a little while to text <laughs> to make sure. Cause if it is in fact today, it'll only take me, you know, 15 minutes to, get ready and get up there. So I'll wait 
a little bit later. Okay, let's do Stitch Fix. I was wrong, my appointment, they put me down for next Tuesday, which I can't next Tuesday. I have a Bella Rose shoot. So I'm trying to uh, reschedule that. So we're gonna do Stitch Fix now. This is the background that I've come up with right now. Tree, tree picture. I did put a scarf on, this is a mannequin. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Uh, like Brian suggested. And then these are just pillows that we put in the living room every year. So I put those there. I'm not sure yet how I feel about it. Like maybe I should move the tree a little bit more over. Mm, anyway, let's do Stitch Fix. And then I'll decide before I film like an actual video for my channel that's not included in the vlog. So I have five things. One, two, three, four, five things. Yes. And then I also ordered another pair of pajamas. I'll, we'll talk about those when we get there. Let's start with the top. I am wearing a pair of jeans too from Stitch Fix. Love Ellie is the brand. Colette hooded pullover, navy size 2X, 48 bucks. Okay, so I will say that, I mean, it looks decent, I guess, but I feel like a size larger would just look a little bit cuter. Is it a tad bit see-through? Maybe, but I'm also in front of bright lights. It is that knit super soft material. I like the navy color. It's very stretchy. I like this detail with the silver little thingies on the hoodie. So it is an actual hoodie as well. I do like how long it is, but again, I think a 3X, I just think I would be a little bit more comfortable. I don't know. It just wouldn't be so snug everywhere but I think it's a nice material. Okay, let's do the jeans. So these are the Reverie, R-E-V-E-R-Y brand, Tanner skinny ankle jean, size 20 in black, $38. So this is the cheapest pair of bottoms I have ever gotten in a Stitch Fix, ever, ever. Just so you know, 38 bucks. I think is a really good price for a great pair of jeans. I think this size 20 is generous. Um, I do have extra room. It's like super stretchy in the waist. They are ankle pants, um, but they're a little bit above my ankle. You can tell. Real pockets in the front. We also have real pockets in the back. These are nice, very comfortable. I kind of, I knew these were gonna be great when I got the box and just held them up because I could tell they had stretch, that they were just a nice, no distressing type jean. I might keep these because they just fit so well. I do think they stretch to a point or they are a generous fit to a point where I could size down just if I wanted them extra tight, you know, like on the legs and stuff because I do have that extra room. I'm so happy with these. These are cute uh, because it is ankle or right above my ankle with booties and sneakers, just all sorts of bottoms. So I know you can't see my head. Here's the first outfit. The jeans I think are the winner. Next top is the brand Lola Gets Active. It's called the Amora Open Side active and then it's cut off. Size 2X, color green, $48. The color is stunning. I did sneak a peek on my app when I saw it shipped to see what I was getting and I was so excited for this. Um, Again, I think I would like a size larger. So here's, let me say this. I did go into my style profile and I realized that my sizes that I requested were a little bit off. So I did change that and so it's not their fault that they sent me sizes that may be a little bit snug because that's what I asked for. So for the next time, I think that the sizes will be a little bit more correct to what I need, but this is very nice. The color is pretty. It's a thicker material. Um, it's a little bit snug in the bust. I feel like it makes my chest look very large for some reason as I'm like looking at it in the camera. I think it's a really pretty color. As I've mentioned, the sides are open. I mean, it fits, don't get me wrong, I'm wearing it, but I would just like it a size or two larger. When I saw it in the preview, I thought it was more of a pullover, like tunic style that I could wear with leggings and I got really excited. It is a pretty color. Again, how many times am I gonna say that? But with a big chunky necklace would be really nice. It is a little bit pricey in my opinion, um, but could be really great for layering. So let's go ahead 
and throw this on. So this is the brand Babo. I've seen this in store. I've also seen it at like TJ Maxx and stuff. So this is called the Wallace Brush Cardigan Color Gray Size 2X, $58. This is a thinner style cardigan. Why did I have a brain fart? I did just buy more recently from, I think like Dick's Sporting Goods, Carrie Underwood's activewear line. They had a super chunky um, animal print cardigan and I did buy it. So when I saw this one, I thought, well, I don't really need another one, but this one is thin. So it would serve sort of a different purpose. All right. So here we go. The 2X I think is a great size. I love, what do you call this in the front? Do people call those like waterfall? Hmm. Here we go. I like this a lot. How much did I say it was? $58? This is the most expensive thing in my box. That is shocking. Y'all know how Stitch Fix sometimes can get super expensive. Okay, I kind of love this. Like this whole outfit is very cute with some little black booties. What do we think? Last top and then I'll show you the pajamas. So this is the brand Market in Spruce. It's called the Paulson Brush Knit Top. Color is black. Size 2X, $38. Here we go. Should I adjust the camera? Okay, so here we go. It is three fourth quarter sleeve. I like that it's got the different like cuff style, even though it's a little bit shorter. Um, the color is really pretty. It can be a little bit longer if you wanted it long. Again, I think that this, I would like it in a size larger. Here's what it looks like from the back. This is a really good box. I did ask for basics and easy transition pieces and stuff. So this is a very good box. It's just my fault, like I mentioned, that I didn't do the sizes or I haven't updated them. I mean, it was still stuck on the sizes when I first signed up for Stitch Fix, which was years ago. Um, and since then, I need larger sizes. So let's do pajamas now. Let me put them on and then we'll talk about them. Here they are. So these are called the Seeing Stars brand short sleeve pajama set, size 2X, $42. These are the ones I already own. This beautiful tropical print with the pink detail. I got these years ago, same brand, same size. I have worn and washed those tropical print ones dozens of times. They never shrink. I have no pilling. I have no issues whatsoever. So I wanted to go for another pair. Now they have some really cute options, um, but I have a trunk club box that y'all know about and I have a couple pairs of pajamas in there and I didn't want to overlap in case I liked them all. So I opted for this really cute animal print with the same pink stitching. These buttons are actual buttons, elastic in the waistband. I think the size 2X is perfect. How cute are these? I mentioned that for some reason, I've been into like the matching pajamas lately. And I feel like I'm keeping these 100% because I know they wear well. That was a mouthful. I don't know if seeing stars you can get anywhere else or if it's a Stitch Fix exclusive. What I'll do, how I would normally do in these kinds of videos, I'll see if I can find these items and link them down below. Um, that way, if you like something, I'll also leave Stitch Fix link down below because if you want to sign up, there it is. Okay, so these are a keeper. Here's what I'm thinking. I want the pajamas, 100%. I just, I love everything about them and I know they wear well. I also want the Babo animal print cardigan. I think it's pretty. Animal print to me is sort of like a neutral basic color. You could wear so many different things with it, underneath it, all that fun stuff. These jeans for the price... I'm impressed, so impressed with these. They fit so well, they have stretched them. I've never tried this brand, so I don't know how they wear, but they feel really nice. It says mid-rise, skinny ankle. Here's, I'll show you the name. Reverie, R-E-V-E-R-Y. So I'm thinking those three pieces. Now I signed up for a Stitch Fix Style Pass Gosh, I don't even know how long ago. It was $49 up front, but then you got your fixes or your styling fees waived for a year of fixes. So I don't get the $20 deducted from what I choose to keep. And again, the cardigan is the most expensive thing at $58. Bucks. So the total for everything in my box is $230. 
If I keep everything, Stitch Fix will give me 25% off, which saves me $57.50. If I add in the pajamas, my total is $214.50, which is not a bad price for jeans, pajamas, a cardigan, and two long sleeve nice tops. But again, I don't need all of that. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do for sure the jeans and the pajamas. I need to think about this. I like it. And it would be so easy where I live because it doesn't get cold that often. Or if it's chilly in the morning at like 50, by lunchtime it's 80. So you need something light or that you can layer easily. So there we go. Any questions, put them in the comment section down below. <laughs> um, I, my mom, I'm not meeting my mom today. She has an appointment with the surgeon to talk possibly doing reconstructive surgery. Um, so I'm going to meet her tomorrow for pictures. So now what I'm going to do is get dressed, put makeup on, fix my hair, and film Trunk Club for my channel, which will be the following Tuesday. So you'll see it in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you, Have a great day. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Brian's leaving. So um, I did a fake tan last night. I put it on my hands, my feet, and my face. So I haven't washed anything off yet. My chest again. Look how dark my hands are next to my chest. For some reason, it just doesn't tan. I also got Brian to do my back. I feel like my hair looks a little bit light today. Let's see what it looks like in the sun. Here comes the sun. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go take a shower, wash my fake tan off. Um, I'm going to get ready, film a, f a Black Friday sale video. I'm excited for it um, because it's a huge sale and y'all are really going to like it. And then look at that one piece of straight hair again. And then um, today my mom is going to help me take pictures, which works out even better because I was able to... Um, put fake tan on and one of the items is a dress so I just feel like yes it's it's winter it's cold outside but I've been on an island <laughs> that's what I feel like all right I'm not mad about this tan I think I'm like slowly getting better at the hands I barely put any on there I should have done the side right there um and then I think tomorrow oh but you'll see this tomorrow I'll have to start a new vlog tomorrow. Um, I think I'm going to go get my nails redone. So, yes, they last for a really long time. But I guess I didn't take into account the fact that my nails grow fast, I guess. Because I feel like there's already quite a bit of space. See it? Um, I do like the length. So, we'll probably do it again. I just want fill and a different color. Now well, my arm hurts from holding you. So, I'll see you when I look cute with some makeup on. Several hours later, I am packed and ready to go to my mom. So I filmed my workout outfit video and I'm gonna bring some with me because I wanna get some cool pictures. We found this like, it's, it's in an actual building that's functional, but it's like around the side of the building has a really cool spot. So. I know it's open today, but maybe she'll be okay with riding over there and taking some pictures. So this is how I'm traveling to my mom's. I am going to take me a water. I need to take Brian's dry clean slip. He asked me to pick that up this afternoon. We're going to go eat lunch first, though. Always lunch first. I'm just going to wear this. It's more like a raincoat, but it doesn't have anything in it. That way I won't get super warm because I want to say it's like 60 something. I'm just wearing this tie-dye pocket men's tee from Walmart, black leggings, and those shoes. I think I forgot to close the garage, so I just pulled out of my street. We're going to loop it back. Let's see. Did we? We did. What were you doing? I forgot shoes, y'all. Got them. And while I'm here, 
I'm gonna get a lip gloss. It's gonna go on the internet. <laughs> Don't put it on the internet. I'm putting it on the Do you feel like you're getting better taking pictures? I don't know, man. I got so many glasses. Hey girl. <laughs> this is outfit number two. We're done for the day. So we found a really cute park back here. Pictures turned out cute. Hey. Hello. How are ya? We're home now. I'm in a different outfit. <laughs> I've been trying clothes on. This is what I ended up in. So these are the Yvette Sports leggings. Hi. 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 Hi, hi, hi. What's in your eye? What's in your eye? So I, the video I shot this morning was for Yvette Sports. You'll see it on Wednesday, I think of next week. Um, they have huge Black Friday sales. So I picked some of my favorites to show you. I also spotted a ton of packages at the front door. So those boxes, most of them are from Chic Soul. We have some fun TikToks and videos coming but this, I'm pretty sure, yes, is my sweatshirt. Look, she even wrote my name on it. Is it upside down? No. So uh, her name is Victoria. I met her through Chic Soul, but now she does her own event planning and design and she makes things. So I spotted on her Instagram that she was making these oversized sweatshirts or whatever size you want <laughs> sweatshirt with your pet pictures like drawn and calligraphy their name on the like pocket area and so I had to buy one so I bought one and I got to pick what size and color sweatshirt I wanted and what color font <gasps> oh my gosh so it says Cash and Layla I picked the men's sweatshirt in this really pretty oh my gosh i paid for this myself y'all i will link her instagram page down below these would be great gifts because they're custom and they're so cute okay i'm gonna put it on hang on here we go so i got mine in the men's i believe size 2x or 3x um sweatshirt how adorable is this oh my gosh I love this. She had on her Instagram the picture she was promoting or showed was black with the white, which was adorable and that drew me in. But when I saw I could pick this color, oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this. This is so cute. Okay, again, I'll leave her Instagram link down below. I feel like I need to edit you because it's three o'clock on Wednesday and you're gonna watch this in the morning. So I guess we're going to end the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. This was a long one. I asked on Instagram. Y'all said, keep it going. So you got a pretty long vlog. Do we love this? Oh my gosh, Victoria, if you watch my videos, I don't know if you do, but thank you. This is amazing. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye y'all.